In a world with phones, TV, gaming, tablets, laptops and other distractions constantly vying for our attention, it is easy to get distracted and waste time. In this video, I'm going to share some ideas I apply in my life on how I manage my time and I will provide 4 highly effective time management tips that you can apply yourself. This subject is of great importance today as it is easier than ever to fail to utilise time effectively and I must admit I have faltered on this myself numerous times. But the thing I came to realise was that using my time wisely has been critical in both increasing my productivity and equally feeling a sense of satisfaction in my life. I have spent a number of years learning, testing and applying different techniques to help me and it is based on this experience I want to share with you which I have felt has helped me the most. Now, not only do I get more done, but the sense of progression towards something meaningful to me has had a greatly positive impact in my mental health. So what do I apply in my life that has helped me effectively manage my time? Well, the first is I use to do lists. It is one of the simplest but equally one of the most effective ways to manage your time. To do lists give a structured approach to helping you identify goals you need to try and achieve each day helping you organise your day to be most effective. Where things get really interesting is that in a study done at Wake Forest University, it was found that writing a to-do list can actually free us from the anxiety we feel from incomplete tasks, as we extract the task to complete from our attention in the brain to a piece of paper. By freeing up our mind in this way, we can better utilise our time and energy towards productively completing the task that needs our immediate attention. I've been using to-do lists for years now, usually with a handful of tasks on the list at most and have found it is one of the most effective ways to identify and complete targets. What makes it quite exceptional is that when a task is complete, I get to tick it off my list, something that might seem small but can be highly beneficial. You see, doing this actually releases dopamine in the brain to give you a positive sensation and as we crave this sensation as humans, it motivates us to repeat the same actions to complete the next task. This builds momentum and can positively impact your productivity. However, to really help ensure I actually follow through to complete a task, I use time blocking to schedule time. The principal idea of time blocking is to effectively schedule in specific time in your day to complete specific tasks. To help you complete this, you need to assess how long you need to do the task and then schedule it into your calendar. Now the method you use when time blocking is really up to you, but I suggest that initially it is best to block time to every 15 minutes. That means you schedule time for a task as 15, 30, 45 or 60 minutes or more depending on how long you need. As you get more experience and want to make more efficient use of time, you can schedule it down further. For example, for tasks where I have a clear idea of how long I need to complete something, I schedule time to 5 minute increments. So why is time blocking so effective? One of the key benefits of time blocking is that it helps us to schedule time to focus on a specific task and avoid multitasking, which has been found in studies to be detrimental in both performance and time management. In one study conducted, students who multitask were not only found to perform worse academically, but they actually took longer to complete assignments. Now, the one factor to consider when scheduling your time is the idea of eat that frog. The general idea of eating the frog is to make sure you do all you can to complete your highest priority task for a given day. It might not be something glamorous or exciting, but usually these are the tasks that are most necessary. To apply this, the first step I do is go through my to-do list and I prioritise each task, identifying which task is of greatest importance and of most immediate urgency. Then in most cases, I will look to schedule this in the morning of my day, as that is when I'm usually at my most effective and fresh to deal with the most challenging task. The one thing that I absolutely do when completing this task is to focus. This ensures I get minimum distraction and I'm normally at my peak for performance, which is usually the case for those with regular sleeping habits. And there's one last point in all of this, but it's arguably the most important. That is to remember, 
It's your choice. You're in control of your time and the choices you make, and by understanding this fundamental point, you can make the most of your day. People may have some general restrictions placed on their day. For example, they have to drop kids off to school at a set time, and get to the office for 9am. However, outside of the general structure pressed upon you in your day, the best thing to understand is that the details of how you utilise your time is up to you. In accepting this point in my life, I found I was naturally more willing to take on responsibility to ensure I had the best day I could each day, and felt like I could manage my time effectively. Importantly, this was also quite liberating, as I felt more in control of my life and that motivated me to try and get more done. Fundamentally, I have and continue to apply these tips and they have significantly improved a number of aspects of my life. I was able to perform better at work and at home, but importantly, it gives me purpose, motivation and satisfaction in how I live my life. It is something I continue to explore and expand my knowledge and understanding of, and I suggest you may want to do the same, not least because you may get the same benefits as I have.